we're here. Woohoo! We've arrived. Yes. Oh, we're in holiday. Woohoo! Good morning. I am in the best place to start a vlog. I'm on the beach. Having a little morning stroll. We have come away for a few days up to we've just come to a caravan site near it's near hartlepool the place itself is called Crimden dean holiday park and it was just kind of a semi last minute kind of thing it is right on the beach as you can see the holiday park you can't actually see it but it is just up there on those cliffs we actually arrived last night we got here sort of half past five ish and we just sort of settled in, had a little wander around the site itself and had some tea and chilled out and went to bed to be honest last night. But we have got, hopefully, some exciting things lined up for the next couple of days. And fingers crossed the weather is going to be pretty nice for us. It is nice this morning. Oh, I just love, this is not just the best place to be at the beach. I love it. We have just headed into Hartlepool and the first place we have come to is the National Museum of the Royal Navy. Stephen's choice first thing this morning. Huge big ship. Oh wow, this is the museum. The ship. Oh, it's set up like... <laughs> Did you hear that? Stephen says for the kids in there. Oh. RM, the commander of the prosperity. Note my cabin. Oh, this whoa. Is the diamond plate, the wine, the windows that allow in fresh air. Oh, that's and cool. You'll find it hard to believe, Ooh. but Navy food is often better than you get on land. Headshot, more charges, move on. Yes, sir. You're going on the boat. Top of the ship. There's a little play area for the kids. Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's like a recon not a reconstruction. Maybe that's I don't know what the word is, but it's the same as the actual ship. That's cool. This is a lovely little spot for the play area. We have moved on and we have just driven a short little distance. It was maybe seven minutes or so and we've come to the headland, which unsure kind of what's here really, but when I was looking at things to do near Hartlepool, it said come to the headland. I think it was really important for the defence of Hartlepool during World War One and World War Two. At the moment we've arrived and we're just searching for somewhere where we can get some lunch. We found a little shop and we've packed our bag up with some goodies. Let's go. This is cool, we're at the wrong number, number 12, but there's a little map. We can walk around the headland and a bit of a story about it all. I think we found a perfect place for a picnic. Down we go. To the beach. Whoa, nearly pushing the buggy off the side. Sand on my toes. We're going to sea. <gasps> it's freezing cold! Ooh.
Where are we going? Pool! Good morning. We have just been for our swim in the pool. It was, <laughs> well, I had a nice time. The kids not so much so. We had to, um, we had to book. We can only have two swim sessions whilst we're here. We had one today and we've got another one tomorrow morning for 45 minutes each. We were moaning before we came that maybe 45 minutes wasn't enough, but to be honest, it's a perfect time. The kids pretty much hated every second, to be honest, though. Um, they're just not used to going swimming, I think, is more the thing. I'm so sad, in my swimming costume, in England, it's pretty nice. It's a bit windy, but it's not too bad. Our plans for the rest of the day, well, I think we're just going to dry off here for a little moment. I'm trying to, you can see in the background, I'm trying to upload a video for Friday. It's, uh, it's not going well, to be honest. Um, we haven't got Wi-Fi in the caravan and there's only like Wi-Fi at the, like, the venue area. Um, I think we're going to go to the beach in a little while. It looks glorious. Oh, we found our spot. Right by the water. That's lovely. Stephen building you a sandcastle. <laughs> You're not impressed with the tools. <laughs> I did tell you to bring that big shovel. Oh, ready. Ah. It's in the pockets full. <laughs> Lift it up, let's see. Yeah, maybe. Oh. That's not a very good castle, is it? Water is getting a bit close to us. We're gonna have to back up. We're gonna test out the temperature of this water. Pretty sure freezing is gonna be faster. Oh, not too bad. Ooh, actually, yeah, it is. Going out far. <laughs> yeah. It is the next day after I think you last saw we were on the beach. Lovely day at the beach yesterday. We all got a little bit maybe not sunburn but sun kissed maybe. Um and then actually last night we were invited was it the day before? I think the day before, it was so strange. I was just sitting on the steps uh, by the, um, the kids had just gone for a little sleep and I was just sitting on the steps by our caravan. And then I heard this, Sarah, is that you? And it was the lady in the caravan just above us on the balcony. She is someone who watches my fostering videos and um, we were chatting, it was lovely. And anyway, ended up, we went uh, out for tea with them last night it was so nice we had such a nice time and um, and they recommended this place to us called Siam that we've just driven up we've gone for a swim this morning again in the pool you can see from my wet hair about as successful as yesterday the kids weren't huge fan fans of it but it was all right um, and we've just driven the short short ride about 15 minutes or so from where we're staying up to see him because we are going to go uh, well we're going to have a picnic on the beach first of all it's a little bit chilly today not chilly but windy so maybe jumpers might be needed we're all dressed in like summer stuff um yeah we're going to go have a picnic on the beach and then apparently this beach is really good for glass collecting which i have never done glass collecting before and i am quite interested to go down and have a little look but for now let's go and get a picnic 
Also, in other news, parking news, if you ever come up to the northeast, I don't know what it is, this car park here is free all day. I don't know why, it's like right on the beach. If this was round by where we live, all day would be like 20 quid or something. Um, yesterday when we went to the beach, the parking was like £1.50 for like four hours or something crazy. Somewhere we went the other day was free parking. They don't like to charge for parking up here for some reason. I'm not complaining about it, it's good, but yeah. <coughs> oh yeah, look, everyone's hunting for it. Mm, let's go this way. More or less everyone is just walking along the shoreline looking for glass. Hey, right, we've had our lunch, we're starting our little sea glass hunt. I feel like everyone must glass, yeah. I feel like it must all be gone because there's so many people here searching for it. Stephen's got some good skimming rocks. Oh! Ooh. Stephen's found our first piece, it's very tiny. Oh, yeah, another piece. Oh, they're teeny. I haven't found any yet. Stephen, oh, Stephen's got loads. Oh really? Oh, because no one knows they're there. a couple of hours down on the beach. We didn't collect a whole amount of uh, glass, but it was fun having a look anyway. Oh, you got them. Yeah. We're heading uh, back to the caravan now. Oh, starting on a hill. Go. Oh, he's good to have around. <laughs> How the hell he can run up that hill? Well, he can do it because he's 16, I reckon. Because <laughs> there is no way I would be able to do that at all. <laughs> I'll show you our sea glass in a second. What we did manage to get. Oh, we're about to move. I just said, whilst, I was, <laughs> whilst we're standing still, I'll vlog, Stephen was still out his pants, but he's finished. Uh, back at the Calvin Park, as you can see. I still haven't shown you our sea glass, that's a little treat. For a little bit later. We've just had our tea, it's about, what time is it actually? Just before six o'clock. And we're having a little walk down to, it's a glorious evening, it's lovely. We're walking down to the entertainment. Well, like, not really the entertainment, but the, like, where the restaurant, hmm, is it a restaurant? Nice. But, yeah, basically, yeah, Stephen's like, just <laughs> Wi-Fi. We're going down for some Wi-Fi, because we've not had Wi-Fi all week. Stephen would like some. I would like to try to upload Friday's video. Um, so, we're, yeah, we're wandering down there. There's a... Uh, a little play area there and stuff so we're going down there for a little while. I don't think I've given you a bit of a look at the caravan site. It's pretty massive. Here we go, we've got video uploading. Play area for the kids, although they're not playing, they're just sitting with us. And some sunshine. Some Wi-Fi for Steve. Steve, Stephen. <laughs> We are back, much later than I thought we were going to be. We started heading back ages ago, but then I started chatting. Oh, that was your head. <laughs> back on the camera. I started chatting to um, the security guard on the way back. And I uh, ended up chatting to them for quite a while. He gave the kids you know, like sweets and cakes and things. Um, but yeah, we're back. 
We're gonna get all get into bed because it's late. Cheeky chops. Ow. Aye. We're gonna all get into bed. Do you want, do you want to see? Do you want to see? Are you ready? Ready? Oh. There you go. He's gone. He's gone. Right, we're gonna get into bed because our plan is to get up, leave early. We are all packed up, ready to leave. We've managed to get up nice and early. I think we're about half past eight-ish and we are off. We had a nice holiday. Yes, we've had a lovely time. Well done. Did you give it a look over? Do I trust you? <laughs> I trust you.